Yay! I'm going to go see the Venom movie! Oh my god, I'm so excited! Oh. Eddie, I am Carnage. Okay guys, Nicholas here, back to another video, and today what I'll be doing is I'll be doing a review of Venom. Venom. Yeah, that's right guys, I'm going to review Venom, and this movie had a lot of potential, and this movie were, uh, made fans pretty hyped up, 2018 is the best year for Spider-Man fans, and then this is a Spider-Man movie that was released, it didn't involve Spider-Man, uh, it didn't involve Spider-Man, it only involved on Spider-Man's arch nemesis, his third arch nemesis, which is Venom, yeah, that's right, it, it, it's Venom, and I like the deep voice, okay, I like, I, I, okay, come on, I like the deep voice, okay, okay, if it was cringy, let me know in the comments down below, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that it was cringy, okay, anyways, now, as you all know, Sony is not the best movie studio ever, because they've been making a lot of crap films, uh, such as the Emoji movie, and, uh, the 2016 Ghostbusters film, and then, uh, the, and then some other ones, they made some good films, and, uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which is another Spider-Man film that will be coming out this Christmas, it will be released the same day as Batman, Mask of the Phantasm was released, um, what am I doing again, okay, uh, okay, okay, we're getting off track, all right, now, as you all know, Sony has been doing a lot of bad films recently, including the Amazing Spider-Man 2, and then the Charlie's Angels sequel, known as Charlie's Angels, Full Throttle. Oh, but we will talk about that in another video. We will talk about, we will talk about that. I have not seen the whole movie yet. Uh, I only saw half of it, but we will talk about that in another video, alright? But right now, we are going to review Venom. And, warning! Warning! I'm going to give you a warning uh, on this video. The video is going to contain spoilers from the Venom movie. So, spoiler alert. If you have not seen the Venom movie, if you have not seen the Venom movie, I suggest you go watch it right now. It is already out in theaters. And, um, uh, and then you can come back to this video. But, if you don't care about spoilers, and or if you already saw the movie, then feel free to stay in the video. Okay? Okay. We're done? Okay, we're done. All right. Let's let's get started on the video. Will the Venom movie be good or will it just be bad? Let's find out. Okay. We thought that when when I saw the Venom trailer, I was really hyped up for this movie. And well, we thought that this was going to be rated R, and we thought that this was going to be a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But no! They lied! Sony lied! Sony's not that well for keeping promises! Yeah, Sony's not that well for keeping promises in this film. And, well, we're gonna, we're gonna just skip and head to that part. Okay, so Venom. We're gonna find out about... Uh, Venom. So the writing was pretty mediocre and was really cheesy and was really bad and the writers are simply not trying. They're just simply rushing it. All right? They're rushing this whole film and turning it into a piece of trash. Okay? Just like how they did in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Okay? They... They were trying to make The Amazing Spider-Man 2 better, but it was crap really really crap all right venom on the other hand mediocre and way worse this movie kind of reminds me of catwoman yeah the 2004 catwoman movie that was the one that was starring hell berry yeah you might you might as well remember her right she plays storm in the x-men films and she also plays catwoman in the 2004 catwoman movie Although she's, although Hail Mary is not in this movie, she's not in this movie. I'm just comparing this movie to to Catwoman, all right. This movie reminds me of Catwoman, and this movie's like Catwoman and Green Lantern and X Men Origins Wolverine. Yeah, 
I'm not joking. All right, and um, the love interest, the story was really, really rushed, and the love interest in the film was really unlikable and was really bland and under, and is not really, not really developed well. Yeah, and uh, she also kind of looks like Dana Delaney, by the way, D Dana Delaney, uh, who voices Lois Lane from. Superman the animated series and she voices Andrea Beaumont from Batman Mask of the Phantasm. Yeah Venom overall Okay, no, no the half of the writing is that Venom decides to change his mind um, Where he wants to stay on earth and he mentioned to Eddie that he was a loser and his planet but now they have Eddie. Um, one thing I like half the writing is the with Eddie and the and the symbiote Venom. Their relationship, on the other hand, was really great and really relatable. But um, Venom, Venom, uh, Venom changing his mind to help Eddie. It was rushed. I, I, I don't understand. There's no explanation about why. Why Venom? Why Venom decides to head to Earth and no wait? Why Venom decides to? Uh, why Venom decide? Why Venom decides to stay on Earth? And um, what else? I'm not sure. Why Venom wants to stay on Earth and be friends with Eddie? He's doing that. We know that Venom is good for lives, right? He's doing that because of... Uh, he's doing that because he wants to... He's probably doing that because he wants to keep the humans to himself. And... It's never explained in the movie. It's never explained why. Right. Good job, Sony. Good job. The dialogue was decent but one thing I could say good is the fighting choreography the fighting choreography is really amazing the CGI I thought it was amazing the CGI was a mixed bad but overall I thought the CGI was great but the CGI kind of reminds me of Catwoman and uh, Green Lantern but overall I thought it was great and the Venom symbiote, on the other hand, Venom's design looks really great. It looks really perfect. And Sony improves it from Spi from Spider-Man. But overall, I'm mixed about Venom. Half the writing is a flaw. The writing starts out promising, but then half of it is a flaw. Yeah. And then we're going to be talking about the characters. Now, the characters, we have Eddie Brock, who is a news reporter. And, uh, well, who, he is a news reporter. And, uh, he is Venom. Out, and he is Venom. He got fired. Well, he got fired after that before he became Venom. And then his fiance broke, broke up and really... Really bland. Yeah. Yeah. Um and then we got and then we got the girlfriend of Venom, the love interest of Eddie Brock. Where the love interest is just really bland and it's just underdeveloping. She's just a lady who like who she likes Eddie, but then she decides to she decides to dump Eddie and uh, got and gets a new boyfriend and Eddie's like her ex and Eddie is now the ex-boyfriend yeah yeah and then we got the the guy I don't know what his I don't know what the guy's name is the guy is uh the guy in the film who became riot in the movie um was I think it was pretty bland and I kind of don't understand his character yeah Sony made Sony made his character 
complicated. Yeah. And I don't know what else to say about his character. Oh, right. And a lot of people were thinking that Carnage, uh, Carnage, the Gray Simeon, they thought that the Simeon was Carnage, but that was not Carnage. That was actually Riot. And I'm not familiar with Riot. I never read the comics of him. I never read him in the comics. I only read Venom and Spider-Man. Yep. This film. The characters. The Doctor. Which is the new boyfriend of Eddie Brock's love interest. Is just really. Not developed too well. As well. And then, in conclusion, overall, this film was pretty, 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 pretty bland. This film has been not getting the great reviews. It's been really bland, and overall, it's not that good. So I'm going to get the overall. It's pretty mediocre at best. This movie's pretty mediocre and has not been getting the great reviews. It's been getting a lot of mixed reviews. This movie ended up like Spider-Man 3. Well, to be honest, I actually kind of like Spider-Man 3. But this movie ended up like The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Now I'll be talking about the good parts. So the good parts in the movie... Alright, the good parts are... Hold on. Um, my feet... My feet are beginning... To get tired. Okay, the good parts in the film are the secret endings where we get to see Cletus Cassidy, aka Carnage, and then we get to see the secret ending where this is taking place in a different universe. And this, uh, and this is telling me that this is, um, this is in the same timeline, the same timeline, but in a different universe. This is taking place in the same timeline as Venom, but in a different universe. Uh, shows us a sneak peek of Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Yeah. Those two secret endings I really like. So overall, I'm going to be giving Venom three stars. So overall, Venom was pretty mediocre. Although there were great parts and then there were bad parts. A little mix between. Venom was mediocre at best. 